Today I'm going to be talking about these two products right here. I actually got this right here because uh, I had a viewer request for me to try this out and see what I thought. Um, initially I've tried this by itself and I want to say I love it. I feel like it matches me very well. Now no telling what color I'm going to be in the next month or so but so far it has matched my skin tone and in this video this is actually going to be the first time I've actually used it in combination with this product because I'm working on practicing um, some new techniques that I just learned um, from a makeup class that I took over the past two weeks since I've been gone and absent from YouTube. <laughs> if you want to see how I use this make sure to keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Let's get into this video. In this video today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me <sighs> kind of talking about where I've been for these past two or so weeks. In this get rid of me I'm actually going to be talking about this product right here. One of my viewers asked me to review it. It comes with a little pad which I actually like and of course it's separated from the liquid so that's even better and when you open it I actually left this on there so I was like just in case I don't want the makeup getting all over this area here. There's the color there and this is number 45. So far I want to say this color matches my skin very very well. So and I want to say usually Maybelline products do. And the other plus side about this makeup product is it doesn't have any parabens in it. So I was very very excited when reading the label that I did not have that in there so I could actually review this product. Now I do like the sponge. My only issue with it is I was afraid I was going to rip it when I was washing it. So but I do like it to actually press it into my skin and I feel like it gives you a very very natural finish so but I'm gonna be using this product along with this one here I wish I did get the dark one too because <sighs> this one I don't feel like it fully covers me I maybe should have gotten a dark and a light but then I feel like you're just you're getting a whole bunch of stuff I don't know so anyway so this one which one is this one dang this is deep all right so this one is the deep and these are the colors I'm sure y'all very very aware of this product I've been sitting on this stuff I feel so terrible kind of I've been sitting on it and I wish I would have just buckled down and made more time to do a video but it was it was super hectic um, I've actually been going to a makeup class master class or something like that power master class makeup and it's by um, Gwyneth Mosby and she's like a very renowned makeup artist here in Atlanta um, she's been doing makeup for a very very long time on people like SWV if you're if you remember them I do from uh, high school um, TLC doing left eyes makeup um, Faith Evans, the list just kind of goes goes on and on. And she's trained so many, so many makeup artists, including the lady who owns Plain Jane, uh, PlainJaneBeauty.com. I believe that's the link. You definitely check it out. Anyway, so I've been attending um, this class that I got an opportunity to do, and I got it all because I wanted to go to this event because it was nothing but makeup stuff and record. And initially, I was intending to record it, and matter of fact, I might feature it on this video or I might add a link to it. And I was, I was planning on actually posting it here on this channel, and I had no idea that what I had initially intended to do was going to end up leading to me being able to go to this makeup class. Because the same people that host PMAC, Gwyneth Mosby, she's the same one as the Gwyneth Mosby Academy. So, um, and I had their information because I've been receiving um, stuff from them and I knew one of the people who actually was a part of the, um, who helped organize it last year. And so I got their information from her and I was just kind of sitting on it. And so I did this video and of course the people who own PMAC never got a chance to actually see the video. I wasn't corresponding with them directly. And here it is, I was actually thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna launch this video anyway because I've allowed a lot of people to see it, the clients, and but the people who I made it for never saw it and I thought that was weird. Some just told me, you know what, reach out to them, let them know you had this video and see what they say. My friends would tell you, like, if I can barter with somebody, I will. Um, anyway, I sent the email, 
they ended up emailing me back they're like oh we didn't even know this video existed and yes you know let us know how we can work together and, and of course I asked them when the next makeup class was coming up and they said oh we have a weekend one I was like perfect because I work during the week so I really don't have that type of time especially with my son like to really be trying to go anywhere and during a week and all of that stuff it's just it can be too much for me and per preferably I prefer not to if I can avoid it and I was just like man that was just so perfect and it was an intense weekend intense um, it was from 10 to 8 and a lot of times we ended up staying there past 8 o'clock I think the last the last day that we were there I think we were there to close to like 11 but she was so awesome like that whole entire time she's amped up just full of energy um, just down to earth easy to talk to ask questions um, it was just and I, when I say light bulb after light bulb after light bulb went off in my head, just listening to her talk, I was like, this was the best thing ever. Like, it was the best thing ever. I'm so, so glad I went. I'm so glad that I got that opportunity to do that. And it was all because I decided to start a YouTube channel. I mean, just, you know, studying other people's editing styles, people like Desi Perkins. I mean, I know she's not the one who's editing. I think her husband edits it. But um, just studying their editing style, their video style, their lighting, um, studying people like Jacqueline Hill, uh, studying people like ja Jackie Ina, um, just studying a lot of people in their video and what they choose to share. And, and then, of course, studying videography and stuff like that. Um, on YouTube for people who choose to share it. It's just, if you have something that's in your heart and pushing you to do it, and you can't even imagine how you're gonna do it because you so small and you don't have the money to do this and blah, blah. Cause that class is like a nine, uh, I think it's like 900 some dollars. Cause I remember my friend told me about it the first time. And I was like, oh, why am I gonna get a spare money? Cause to me, I need a spare money for that. Cause I already have my life. I already have my bills. I already have all these other responsibilities and things I have to take care of. And um, I didn't see how I was gonna be able to do it. And lo and behold, God provided a way two years later two years later with this video i'm just i'm i'm grateful i'm thankful uh because now i'm officially a makeup artist i'm just i'm very very excited because this is something i can add on to a list of stuff that i do artsy stuff and i'm okay with that because you don't know where stuff leads you don't and i wish people would stop looking at opportunities that show up and like think they're nothing like stop doing that just because it looks small to you, you don't know the end result. You don't know the end result for other people. You don't know the end result for yourself. You don't know how God's gonna direct you in any of these things. And all I can say is chill the hell up. Yeah, chill the hell up. Go along with it. Stop fighting it. If it's showing up, if it's this thing you love doing, and it's showing up, do it. I, yeah, this color's not dark enough, but you know, we're just rolling with it. Just do it. Stop fighting and just do it. You have nothing to lose everything to gain and let's do the C doo -doo -doo -doo. and I'm just mixing in some stuff I like to do um, let's put a little bit more yeah and I don't want to go too yellow crazy um, anyway and then the best part about the class is that I loved I mean the whole entire time we're there like I think like every day we were there some of our previous students were coming in and they were bringing you know a person to come in and they brought their own model to come in so they can practice doing makeup and then she gave them tips about what they were doing and what they were doing right and how to fix this and fix that and i was like yo this is the best where do you go to school learn a craft and you can still come back and get correction on it later and you're not paying for it where does that happen I mean, she's just, just very, very impressed. Just an awesome, it was, it was such an awesome, awesome, awesome experience. Uh, and it, like I said, she's so down to earth. I just, I just enjoyed it. Overall, I shouldn't be using this. I don't even know why I picked this up. All right, so I can't say I'm gonna sit here and share everything that she taught me because I feel like that's not my place to do so. Um, I mean, you'll definitely see it in my technique from what I'm 
what I uh, what I end up enjoying. And that's the same yellow color, by the way. That's just a yellow. And the funny thing is I haven't gotten a chance to practice or nothing since I did my, uh, my practical, my ex little exam and my model. And I was like, you know, I can't wait to start doing this again. And that's the thing. I'm like, if you love something, man, just don't be afraid. It's a reason why you love it. And it's... If you keep thinking about all the ways it's not possible, you're you're you just continue to remain where you are. And I refuse to believe that God puts these ideas in your head for you to stay in the same place that you're at. I just refuse to believe that. I never really use this brush, so let's see. Get this all up in the hairline. Why not? Can't be having no no fake going on. Ah, oh, man, I just I want to say if you have a passion for makeup you know it's not just about becoming a makeup artist but if you really want to take it somewhere um just take some classes take some classes um because this is the other cool thing about taking a class oh i need to come up somewhere i need to come up to like about there which that's the other great thing is now you get an opportunity to to work with more people um what well, a cool thing with her class anyway is i'm always getting emails like literally i was always getting emails about you know projects that was coming up and if you want to be a part of it, and it's great for portfolio building. And then you don't know these people, you don't know their contacts, you don't know who you're gonna to get to meet. And if you're in this mindset of never doing anything for free, you're always gonna remain in that same place. Always gonna remain where you are. You will never grow, because you're too concerned about what's in it for me. When has that worked? <laughs> ah, man, when you've been doing something for a while, you're like not used to like doing any other method. Yeah, it's good to step out, right? I'm gonna switch up and go to the foundation. And let's see, I'm gonna try this sponge again. I should have used a stippling brush, but it just reminds me of like powdered milk. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a powdered milk. But I actually like wearing this by itself, especially if you're like going for a more um, natural look. Not to say you can't get a natural look with um, foundation over cream. Let me go ahead and set my face. I'm going to use this powder here and this is the Aesthetica Translucent Powder and they do have a banana one which I might end up trying um, because this one I believe is talc free. Um, it's yeah I believe it's talc free. So the ingredients is mecca, silica, and the only thing is um, I know silica has a tendency to cause flashback. I think you'll find that in a lot of like HD products. All right, well, this is my update of this makeup look. Um, this foundation so far, it's doing pretty good. It's holding up pretty well. It's 738. And yeah, I'm a little bit on the shiny side, but it's not anything drastic. I have already had to dab this already with some tissue. I'm an oily person, it is what it is. And I'm not gonna carry powder around me and accidentally cake myself <laughs> to pieces. Not doing it. Um, so, but it still looks beautiful. And my favorite part about cream is it always and even like after you do it like give it about maybe 20 minutes or so it has a tendency to like melt into place but you it needs to be blended properly prior to that so but overall I'm definitely loving the makeup look eyelashes maybe not so much but everything else yes well, anyway thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and of course don't forget to turn on the notifications if you're already subscribed to my channel that's the bell down below and i'll talk to you soon bye put your hands together for 31 year celebrity makeup verified celebrity makeup <laughs> That's what you love to write for uh, celebrity makeup artists. What is the most? What is that incredible? It's from the competition for that year. So, Sarah Matthews doing the award show. I'm just called Pro Day. That's when you have a lot of the different, uh, like Kevin Myers will be demonstrating live on stage. Yeah, there's some graduates on it. You know, but Kevin Myers will be a big deal to live on stage. Uh, Nars is going to have someone demonstrating Nars. And Walking Dead will have a little bit of a lot of the 